Hello and welcome to Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. I wanted to make a surprise out of it, but truthfully, you're going to say the title, so you already know what's what's there. But um, one of the reasons why I decided to pick this game as one of my first solo Let's Plays is because I just love this game so much. It's just it's so much nostalgia for me back when I was, you know, a kid in elementary school, starting high school. Just really loved it. And I want to share the experience with you guys. Now, I could let the book go on uh, to tell you the premise of the story, but... <laughs> this brings back memories. Just hearing that title theme just brings back so many memories. But let's see. I This is kind of a new memory card, so I must have played this a while back, but not too long ago. But let's see. What, what's, what's here? <laughs> what... Kappa. Why? Why is Kappa here? Why is it named Kappa? I don't even... You know what, it's... It's best not to ask questions. I... I don't know when I made this. I've got 24 hours worth of gameplay in here. And to top it all off... I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I think... Back then I was a memer. Today I'm a memer. But I was a very different person back then. So let's... Let's ignore this. <laughs> Let's start a new game. Ah, the name. I'm gonna be generic. I'm just gonna call myself Snow. I can't... I can't really, um... Think of anything too... Too great. Um... So, a couple things about the Let's Play, though, before we fully get into it, and fully immerse into the story. First off, I'll be batch recording these. So, if I miss something, you leave a comment and you feel like in the next part I didn't read it or anything like that, because I'm gonna have multiple of these parts ready to go already, and I'm just gonna put them out either daily or every two days, depending on how many parts I get out before my first batch recording is done. Secondly, during this Let's Play, I'm not really gonna be reading too much unless it catches my eye. Um, there's a lot of story to this, and I can't understand if people are here for the story, at the end of the day, though, it's a lot of text. I don't think you want to hear my voice drone on. You know what I mean? Like, I'll let you guys sit here to read it. I'll be commentating on it, obviously. But yeah, just a few of the ground rules on how I do Let's Plays. Because, um, everyone does them differently. I'll read a little bit of it at a time, though, I'll be honest with you. Or kind of improvise it in my own words. So Luigi's going to be reading a letter from Princess Peach to Mario. Let's see, what does is, what is, what is the damsel in distress want now? She's on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdoms. She found an ancient box. I went through that quickly, but if you hit Z on the GameCube controller, you hit Z, you will go back in terms of text in the case you accidentally skipped it over, which is actually quite handy if you actually wanted to read something. So, pretty good, pretty good. So she came in possession of a mystical map, treasure map, found it in Rogueport. Now I'm skipping this because I'm just going to give you the Coles notes of it because nobody wants to read all this, I'll be honest with you. She wants Mario's help to find out what the treasure map holds that she found from some weird merchant in Rogueport. And here it is, in the envelope. And this is the map. Decent looking map. I like it. I like it a lot. And so, our adventure begins. Just like any other Mario game, we start off with barely any information. <laughs> we just go. Prologue. A rogue's welcome. And Mario's snoozing away. And the uh, the guy who drew, who uh, who's drove the ship, sailed the ship. How do you say that? Don't mind me, I'm not great at English. Um, we never hear from him again. He just talks to Mario, wakes him up, tells him that he's going to get mugged and is on his way. <laughs> I've played this game quite a bit. I know a lot. Back in my hand almost. Almost. Let's see, are you sure you want to disembark? And then you go, yeah, there's a princess here waiting for me. There's a princess? <laughs> Please. <laughs> He's like, there's no princess here. 
who, who, who are you kidding yourself? You're delusional. But hey, you paid me. There we are in Rogue Corps. We can talk to the people here. Um, the truth of the matter is, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> unless I have to. Because this is going to take up a lot of time. So let's save. Because, you know, I don't want to go through all that again. These first few parts, I'm going to let you know before we continue onward. These first few parts are going to be a little lengthy. Mainly because it's a lot of plot. And not a lot of action. So, just bear with me. Bear with me. first few parts are going to be very text heavy. You want for me? Oh, oh, that's not good. For that's great. First thing we come into the friggin' town, and there's a Goomba girl getting mugged. Fantastic. Yeah, he's trying to get some information out of her from the Crystal Stars. Lord Crump. <laughs> what kind of name is Crump? But hey, that's what makes it funny. Can you screw up my plans? Well, I am Mark. He's like the master of screwing with people's plans. Can't flee. So yeah, as you can see here, Paper Mario is a turn-based RPG. Freaking love it. And it's got uh, action commands that will let you do in increased damage and also help you defend yourself. Uh, there's a lot of things that, you know, the game will tell you on what to do. Like, I even got those stylish moves. But I'm gonna be honest with you, stylish moves mean nothing right now. Uh... I could do what I can to teach you, to you guys how to play the game if you're playing alongside with me. Um... Truth of the matter is, though, this is a pretty old game. I don't know if anybody's gonna be playing alongside this. Um, but you know what? I'll, I'll go through some things if I find them interesting got different decent shots in, I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means... What does it mean? It's go time. Let's go. Oh my god. Where are all these these people coming from? Where? Like, there's like a hundred dudes here. And Mario's dead. Yep. There's no way he survived that. Or did he? This way. How did they miss? What a bunch of loons. <laughs> Now I know where a part of my vocabulary comes from. This game, this game taught me a few of my things. But yeah, like, how did one? They're looking back at me when they're going in for another like attack, and and, and two, how are they missing so much? How did you miss? Uh, how could you, you miss? miss? <laughs> Stop! Oh, now you realize that after I left the door. Where'd they go? Johnson, did you see him? Crud, they bolted. Hey, well, no crap. <laughs> what do you think I was you? Just look at you all day? Yay. That's good gratitude. Gotta give you a reward. What kind of okay, then. Man. Not even ten minutes into the game, and uh, Mario's getting some, some coochie. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, why'd I say that? Uh, now she realized that I'm the famous Super Mario. She hates this place called Rogueport. She's looking for a legendary treasure. Yep, yep, yep. What you got there? It's a legendary map. Here you go. I only met you five minutes ago, but here you go. One of the priceless treasures of the world, right here. Princess Peach. Hoogly boogly. What the hell? Oh, and now we got some people getting roughed up by Piantas back there. Can we get F in the chat for, I think his name is Gus? Yeah, for Gus the, the guard. What brings me here? I gotta save my damsel in distress for like the, the 50th time at this point. Of course you don't know where she is. Let's see, at this point, loss of what to do. Surely you're a finder. After all, you're Mario. You're a bitch, forever. <laughs> yes. And then Cobellus is fangirling over the fact that we're famous. And then he's gonna help us out find the treasure by finding your professor. But before that, she joins the party. So let's see here. Cobellus' ability is a primary. Press X to get information about the nearby places, people, places, and objects. Yeah, she's basically just the like your tour guide throughout the entire game. 
and she'll tell you very she'll also give you hints and if you're going around people she'll tell you about the person which is weird because you'd like to think you'd like to think that she only knows people in rogue work because that's where she you know lives but there are places where we go everywhere and she'll know everything about anything which is dumb but i mean hey this is basically the game's uh way of saying look you need a hint system that's pretty much it so let's save our game one more time and you know what i'm gonna call it a part here just a small intro i know we didn't get anywhere uh but this is the game this is the start of the game this is our premise we gotta find them crystal stars and open up that door and we're gonna use the treasure map to you know help us out so i'll see you guys in the next part thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like subscribe maybe and uh, leave a comment if you got anything to say until next time